Waterfront dream home in your future? We may have the answer. Live at Five's real estate expert Roy West joins us now with all the details in this week's hot property. Waterfront doesn't really sound all that appealing right now with it being cold, but I'm thinking warmer months, it would be great. Absolutely, and I'm thinking hot property. It's still hot property despite all the cold temperatures. True, we've been because at. Every it's not Tuesday, typical. Whenever I appear now, it's like Amos Dice. That's so, right. <laughs> so these have to be hot properties. They do. So where are we going to start today? We're going to start down at Pleasure Island. Okay. So if they're going to roll the video, this is, it's, oh. a, it's a waterfront front dream. It's three bedrooms, four and a half baths, four car garage, and it's priced at a steal, half the construction cost. It's a three-story estate on Pleasure Island, almost on two and a half acres, Sabine Pass Independent School District. Very well built, engineered foundation, under ream storm windows, as you'd expect, gourmet kitchen, spacious living. The first floor is a fisherman's kitchen, full bath and four-car garage. The second floor is the living area, dining, kitchen with breakfast room, two bedrooms. Third floor is den, master suite with his and her baths large closet, and there is an elevator to access all floors. Wow. This and all the properties are from Libby Mitchell of Regency Real Estate. That's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Now, the next house we're going to be going to here in just a second, but we're still seeing the video. This is in Nederland, okay. and this is on right at an acre. It's a colonial style, three bedroom, three and a half bath, three car garage. And being in Nederland Independent School District on an acre, it's quite unusual. Mm -hmm. It's got a beautiful kitchen with custom cabinets, gin air, gas stove, walk-in pantry, formal dining with a double fireplace, hardwood floors, cathedral ceiling, master suite with his and her walk-in closets, oversized private bath, jacuzzi tub, separate shower. It has outdoor features, which include include two covered patios with gas for grilling, a concrete covered dog kennel, and also it has a 2,000 square foot shop with a half bath and a roll up doors. Private study, I mean this house, as has you can everything. see, has very much. Yes. Beautiful home. And now we're going to be coming up on a third house here, mm -hmm. and this is in Bridge City. But nice. I'm getting ahead of it, I think. All right, here, <laughs> here, here it comes. Okay. It's a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, three-car garage, and colonial estates. It's got designer colors throughout. It's got high ceilings, crown molding, arched doorways. It's got a spacious master suite with a sitting area, enormous walk-in closet, large open family room with built-in entertainment center. It's got a study that can be a fourth bedroom. It's got a super nice game room upstairs, fabulous covered patio, and fenced yard. And again, this home, as well as all three homes, uh, are listed by Libby Mitchell of Regency Real Estate Professionals. She'd be happy to show you these properties and many more. And uh, as you can see from this video, all of them are gorgeous. There's a lot of wonderful properties out there in southeast Texas. This is, we did the south part of the county today, but they're certainly all over southeast Texas. So it's a great time to be buying a house. Beautiful, beautiful properties. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And, and I, I suggest that people start looking right now. It's not too early. It, although it doesn't feel like spring, it's about to be spring. <laughs> it's about to be. And where can folks take a listen? Uh, KLVI mm -hmm. every Sunday, noon to one on the Roy West Real Estate Show. All right, Roy, as always, we appreciate you showing us the hot properties across southeast Texas. Thank you.